Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can schedule Facebook page reels. If you're not utilizing the traffic you can get from your Facebook page, now is the time because the visibility is back and the reach has increased once more. Now, let me show you how you can set this up. Now, first we wanna integrate our Facebook page. To do this, click marketing on the left, social planner at the top, and then click connect Facebook. Then you just got to follow the wizard, hit continue. And here we go. It suggests all the Facebook pages you are admin of. So select the one you would like to post to hit add and ta-da, you can see it's connected already. Now let's X this out. Let's hit get started. Then let's click new post, create a new post. Then click the drop down menu and select the page. And right here you want to select real instead of feed or instead of story. Hit real and to upload your video, click the video icon. Upload the video file. Once it's uploaded, double click on it. And you can see it's already been imported successfully. Amazing. Then you want to type your content, add some hashtags if you like. You can also go ahead and format it if you like. Let's add an emoji or two. And you could potentially even tag another account. Now the follow up comment is amazing. Would highly recommend you do that. That simply means you can put the link in the comment box below. So let's click on it. Type your comment, click advanced options. Choose a category if you have created one. If you haven't created one, create one right here by clicking the plus icon. For example, a category name could be SaaS, right? Since this video is about SaaS, we select a color. And category means, by the way, if you're scheduling these reels or these posts, you can put them into different categories. And once all of the posts have been posted, you can turn on a feature that allows you to repost all the past posts on autopilot. So let's hit add. Here you can search tags. Currently we don't have anything available. That's fine. And then at the bottom, you can either save for later if you want to send this off to your social media manager and they have to approve it, or you can click the drop down menu here, post it now, schedule a post for later, send post for approval or schedule recurring posts. Let's just post it now so you can see. And ta-da, here under planner, you can see the status is still in progress. So let's wait for a minute. If you move over to the right, you click on your icon, on your Facebook page icon, it opens up a new window where you can again review what you've just did. The video and it's still in progress, when you've posted it and where you posted it basically. Let's close that. If you click the three dots, you can clone the post and that's it for here. So now let's go to the Facebook page and let's check. And awesome, here we go. There is the reel already. Now let's go back to the back end and you can see it's been published. If you click that social icon again, you can see here it's been published. You can also click the preview link. Beautiful, it's right here. And if you click on the comment icon right here, you can see that the follow-up comment has been placed as well, which is amazing. Then for the more you can see the likes and the shares and the comments inside the back end as well and that's really it please note that the video can be between three seconds and 90 seconds which comes down to one and a half minutes and cannot be bigger than one gigabyte and the format also needs to be mp4 mov or webm the aspect ratio should be 9 to 16 and thumbnails are not currently supported for reels. The minimum aspect for pixels is 540 by 960, but the recommended one is 1080 by 9020. And that's it already. This is how you schedule reels inside the social media planner to your Facebook pages. I hope you like this feature and I will see you in the next video.